Why is it important to set up a profit and loss or P&L statement for your body shop? I'm Jason Stahl and we're going to find out next in the AirPro Diagnostics Collision Garage. <laughs> To set up the P&L, it's important to understand the different types of expenses and where they should fall on the financial statement. Knowing the difference between costs of goods sold and overhead expenses is important for body shop owners because it gives them the ability to create a P&L statement that's accurate and precise. A good P&L gives management and ownership a roadmap for financial performance and helps with understanding the financial health of the business. Further, Understanding the chart of accounts aids in creating an accurate P&L statement. Chart of accounts is basically the buckets or categories where expenses are assigned. For example, a technician's payroll expense is separated from the office supplies purchased so that management can review expenses correctly. A high level look at the business separates out the cost of goods sold from the overhead expenses. All bills and invoices are either entered or coded to one of these two categories. The first set of expenses we'll talk about is cost of goods sold. These are expenses that are associated with the repair of the vehicle. When a vehicle is dropped off at a repair facility, an estimate or repair order is created in the operating estimating system to plan out the repair. When you make decisions such as replacing a part or repairing the damage, you're choosing a category of revenue, labor, parts, paint materials, etc. You order the parts or assign labor hours based on that decision and the repair begins. The expenses are also broken out between categories, labor, parts, paint materials, etc. Typically at the end of the month, the sales and costs are exported into the accounting system where the sales and some repair order costs are accounted for. Any expense that is part of the repair should be categorized as a cost of goods sold item. A rule of thumb is to add an expense category for each sales category. So if you have sales in labor, parts, paint, sublet, and towing, the P&L should also have those exact expense categories. The sales should be broken out into a minimum of six different buckets, labor, parts, paint materials, sublet, towing, and other. Within each sales category, there are subcategories, but they do not need to be broken out on the P&L statement. Having too many lines would be unnecessary for the format of an income statement. In our next video, we're going to take a closer look at cost of goods sold. I'm Jason Stahl from the AirPro Diagnostics Collision Garage. Thanks for watching.